How's it going, lads? And welcome back to the Millwall FM21 series. Uh, straight into things today. Um, I know I said we would be doing Blackburn and Derby, but I completely forgot about that before going into the, the Blackburn game. Um, unfortunately, so we did win that game 3-0. Uh, Zahora got two, Bertel actually got one. So probably would have been a good game to show. Unfortunately, we I messed up there. I was going to say we. You did guys didn't mess up at all. Um, but last game I saw you in was the looting game. Uh, nice 3-1 win. Good episode, last episode, two wins. Uh, and since then, we've been on a decent run. Uh, drew 2 all with Barnsley. They were um, ninth at the time. Nil nil with Preston. Bit of a disappointing result there, but we did play some nice football, so a bit of an encouraging game to watch. 2-1 win against Huddersfield. Troy Parrott and Bertolacci getting a goal. Uh, Bertolacci did pick up a knock in that game, but he's okay to play. Um, in this game, obviously, that was ages ago. Uh, Norwich then lost 3-1. Very disappointing game, I think, for us. Uh, lots of players didn't perform as well as they should have. Uh, nice little 3-1 win against Sheffield Wednesday there. Jed Wars getting two. He's been on form um, for a while. Uh, another win again. 2-1 against uh, Cardiff. Troy Parrott getting on the score sheet as well as Jed Wallace. And then two disappointing defeats then to Reading and... Um, Birmingham but the worst news of all is that Jed Wallace is injured for two to four weeks so but fortunately I have been playing Tyler Berry in the last couple of games he made six appearances for us so far uh, four starts two off the bench he has been playing uh, he's been uh, playing a few games just because I, I feel like he's he's doing well I tried him out in a game and he did really well in that game. Jed Walsh wasn't injured or anything, he just I just decided to play him. And he just did so well. And yeah, he's like that he's been one of our like most consistent players. Um for a bit, obviously that doesn't say there, but he has been getting consistent sevens um in the previous uh, previous games I've played him in. Um But yeah, obviously Jed Walsh can be a massive miss here, but hopefully Barry has been playing well and he can sort of um, step into his shoes for the next couple of games that um, Wallace is away. But I am going to go to the team now and I'll be back when I've chosen it. So, team to play Derby today, home at the Den. Uh, Bialkowski in goal, Holly and Romeo are the fullbacks. Mengi, Cooper make up the centre-backs. Mahoney and Barry on the wing, Thompson Leonard in the middle and Troy Parrott and Zahora partner them each other up top. Uh, Zahora has been amazing, still still one of the best players we've got, 9 goals in 14 games. Really hoping, as long as he keeps his form up, I'm really going to look to bring him in next season. But obviously, he is going to be quite expensive if we are still in the championship. But, big game here against Derby County, obviously they're going to be quite a good side. Quite a strong side as well. Uh, sitting in ninth. Um... We have a look at their side. Didn't really look at it before um, the game, but obviously, but Wayne really manages them now in real life. As we are coming forward, Tyler Berry puts the ball in the middle. Has a horror of all he's straight at the keeper. That's a good start from us though. But they are playing a 5-3-2. Rooney sits in the middle of the park there. Colin Kazim Richards, who I didn't realise had actually come back to um, England. Started a Berry. Look at that. But yeah, I didn't realise he'd come back to England, but I was watching a, a derby game the other day and it's from there and I was like, oh, is that Colin Kazim Richards? We are looking promising at the start of this game though, to be fair to us. Barry wins it back to Coley. Nice bit of football. Coley's been a good uh, good player. Oh, lovely finish from Toy Power. That's what we need to be doing. Getting in behind the defence like that. Great ball there was from Coley. As I was saying, he was um, he's been playing really well for us. Um, he's just been consistently, consistently good. Um, yeah, just really good. He's got a really good left foot in him. Balls that he put loads of balls in the box. That's why Zahor has got most of his goals. Is just balls in the box. He just either heads them in or just taps them in, which he's really good at. To be fair to him. But this is would be a great win if we could grab a win here uh, at the Den. Um, Troy Parrott's also been um, a very good player. Him and Zahora up top have really been banging in the goals for us. Um, 
after he's come back from his injury. Okay, they didn't like that at all. Um, right. Okay, I may have messed this up quite a bit here. Don't do that, no. Uh, encourage. They all seem down. If they score from that, it's completely all my fault. If they score from kickoff here. Hopefully, they won't. Okay. Andre Wisdom. Wayne Rooney. Back to Evans. They are passing around quite nicely here. Oh no. Oh no. Go on, make a tackle. Nice, Leonard. Go on. Break now, break. What a ball. What a ball. He's offside, surely. Oh, that would have been amazing, but he was offside, unfortunately. Come on, we can get it back in this game, surely. Not back in this game, we're winning. We can get another one there. We need to get another one to uh, to secure this win. I'm not comfortable with us only having one goal, but I don't want to push it too attacking. I don't want to sit back yet. 75th minute, I will um, look to make a change, but at the moment, I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, for a minute, I think we're okay, but I... 75th minute, and so I'll definitely make a change in the tactics. Whether we go defensive, if we can just hold out here, that would be very nice. Okay, but Cannon playing it round. They have got a they've set up very defensively for this game. We did, we did manage to break them down early, which I think is very good. So they they are gonna have to push forward now, which means we should be able to get in behind even even easier. Because these two, if we, if we look, these two fullbacks are gonna be bombing down this left and right side now if they're looking to play more attack and if they're trying to grab a goal so we will find more chances out wide to get in behind them basically which I think will give us the best chance of scoring or extending our lead 75th minute just time waste now I suppose okay quality down this left hand side Mahoney Harat, Thompson whips it in. Oh, unlucky. Leonard, did you gonna be able to put it out why he does? Romeo. Oh, nice tackle there from them. Come on, get that ball in the middle. That's how we're gonna get our goals. And what a ball over the top. Pantovic. Back to Zahora. He's always in the right position. Even when that probably wasn't the best place to put the ball. No. Even when, you know. He's not where he's expected to be. You'd expect to see him like right in the middle there, ready for that ball across. What a ball this was from Thompson first time. Pantovic with a lovely touch. Lovely pullback. Two he dragged in two defenders, Clark and Evans. Dragged them both in with that lovely touch and then a little ball in behind to uh Zahora. Mahoney now down this left. Holy whips it in. Can we get a third? Oof. Pantovic doing well. Might make us change here just because it's a bit of waste, waste a bit of time here. Ben, uh, Bertolacci can come back in. Mahoney's done really well. Um, yeah, we are playing in more than we are playing um, Andre Green now. Um, as much as Andre Green doesn't like it, Mahoney is doing a lot better than than what he than what Andre Green is. But that is definitely a good win for us. 2-0 at the den. Derby came down, played defensively, and we were able to break them down and get two goals. So that just secures us in that sort of um, playoff place now. Two, play two points above Birmingham on 27. But yeah, that is a very good result for us. Uh, QPR coming up, they are going to be a top side, and they're going to be quite hard to break down and beat. But they are struggling of late, they're on like a bad patch of form, so luckily that will play into our favour, hopefully. But yeah, I will be back for that game. Uh, yeah, unless anything happens, I'll be back for that game uh, in a minute. So, a few players lacking in fitness um, for this game. So, we've had to rest a few players, but I think it is a, still a strong side and a side that can definitely... Um, beat QPR, especially when they come to us at the den. Uh, so, Bialkowski stays in goal. Mengi Pierce at the centre back with Coley and Hayden Muller comes back in at right back. Mahoney south on the left, Green on the right, Mitchell and Thompson uh, down the middle with Parrot and Zahora up top. 
Um, did contemplate uh, resting as a horror for this game, but he did score last game, so I will. Um, he does. He does. He has earned a spot uh, starting for this game. Um, but if he does get too tired, obviously I'm, I'm not. Um, gonna, I'm not too afraid to rest him. I've got Bradshaw on the bench, who has started a few games, but he was out with an injury for a bit. Um, he was out for a bit before um, the last game. So he hasn't been playing, but he is there to be played um, in the next game. Not in the next game, or if he wants to come on. Because they are going forward now, and Pierce plays it. I've just realised the thing I just said didn't make any sense, but uh, we have got Brad from the bench, so if Sokora doesn't play well, always tired, he can't come off. But he is through on goal here. Okay, he's decided to stop. Finds Billy Mitchell getting his first start for Millwall this season. Can... Good start for the young lad there, to be fair to him. As, oh, great clearance off the line there from Quali. Masterson had a volley. Quali clears it away. QPR with a strong set out a strong side. Brighter side, Samuel, obviously a key player for them. Probably going to have to watch him quite a bit. Zohora heads it down, parrots through. Has he got the pace? He does. Oh, should have definitely done better than that. Yeah, I've got a player off for a minute. Can we capitalise on that? He's come back on there. There's Mengi with a lovely ball out to Andre Green. Is he going to be able to do something here? Tries to pull it back. He can't. Is he going to be able to play it back? He does. Hayden Muller into Thompson. Back to Mitchell. Harrod, Zahora exchanging passes. Thompson. We do play a lot of football on the ground. As Green. Oh, I 100% shouldn't have scored that one. That was definitely a goal scoring opportunity. We're going to put it a bit more positively now, I think. Just so we can get a bit a few more chances um, going, because we are we have to score one. If you make enough chances, you've got to score. We have got another chance here. Are we going to be able to do anything from it? Headed away by Kai Kai, Billy Mitchell now. The lovely ball at the top. Mahoney stops on the corner flag. Whips the ball in. Green on the in the. It's a pen. It's a pen. And this it, it, definitely a parrot. We've got four on. I mean, they both got the same penalties, but Paris got better finishing. So you know what? We're going to give it to our penalty taker's not on at the moment. Jed Wallace isn't here, so I'm going to give it to Zahora. Come on! Don't make this be a mistake, otherwise I'm going to kick myself for not picking Paris. Nice little finish into that bottom corner. He runs to the same side every time, right in front of that away end. Always runs in front of these fans by it and runs in front of the way fans they did against Luton. He did it in the last game against Derby and he's done it in this game against uh, QPR. I really hope he can bring this man back. He's been outstanding all season. But obviously, since we uh, since West Brom did sign for quite a bit of money, 8 million it was, they're probably going to want around that for him. Uh, obviously, if he does play well here... They either want to use him or they want to they know he can, they can get a lot more money from him. But QPR have changed their formation to a 4-1-3-2, which is a very strange formation. But that's good for us. There's Parrot finishes, but he is offside, unfortunately. Good little finish there from the Irishman, but unfortunately he did stray a bit offside. Great little ball this one from Thompson though. Yeah, unfortunately miles offside there. Can we defend the free kick? Get it away. Oh, nice little header from Ball. Just over the bar there. We can hold on to another win in this episode. I don't know what's happening, but every time we, we play, <laughs> we get two wins. If we win, obviously, they could grab one here now that I've said that. Don't score. Nice Mengi. We're going to get out to them. Amos. Playing some nice football here. One touch football, Dykes. Oh, that's unlucky. Great save from Bialkovsky. That was 100%. That should 100% be scored from him. As Baker head the ball of the box and we've gotten away with something that I 100% thought we shouldn't. I, I say 100% too much. I thought they were going to score there and Bialkovsky's denied them and Baker's ruined their chances. But we live another day as Para just puts the ball wide. Zahora is going to come off for um, from Bradshaw, not George Alexander. And Mahoney is going to come off for Pantovic. 
two changes now, two pairs of fresh legs. Tom Bradshaw back in the game and Pantovic. Hasn't played much since we brought him in, but is getting his chance on the wing as Paratin. Great save from Dieng, keeping QPR in this game. Oh, come on. If we can nick another goal here, I'm certain we could win. Focus played on both wings. They are coming forward here now, though. They do get a lot of chances, and I worry every time they go forward they might get a goal. As Macaulay Bond down that left hand side whips it in. Adam I can't finish it. As Cher. Oh, Alea Cher. Almost puts it in. It's Huddersfield have beaten Sheffield Wednesday 5 0. Wow, fair play. Sheffield Wednesday are struggling, though. They did have a minus six points deduction for financial fair play. Rose ball finishes it, but it's going to be disallowed. Thank you very much, referee. Oh my god. Imagine if they had stolen it then at the end, right? No, no, no. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Very defensive. Don't let anyone in. And we scraped a 1 0 win from a Zahora penalty. Two goals disallowed in that game. One for ball. Oh, one for ball. Yeah, one for ball and one for Parrot. But we have got another win. And. The press all over us. Picked him with a late card today, taking his tally to six. Um, yeah, he can, he's been, he's got loads of yellow cards. And he's got one red, obviously, which he got in the Luton game. But that is going to end the episode. Another episode of uh, two wins. Obviously, got two wins in the Wickham Luton game games and two wins against Derby and QPR that is lovely stuff um, again I will come back after quite a few games um, because obviously yeah for a minute we're in a playoff push but as obviously the championship is so so two games uh, one in this episode, two games, one in the last episode, looking good when we actually record the games. Um, but we will take uh, another break, um, not another break, but we will have a, quite a few games played by the time I get back, just so we can get through the season, because I know we're in a playoff push at the moment, but obviously the championship is very tight, and anything could happen really, like, we could lose two games and Huddersfield could win the next two games and they push us out of the playoffs, you know? So, obviously, I'm not that um, worried about our playoff chances at the moment. I think we are we are on a good run of form. Three games won um, from three. And we have only lost three in the last... What is that? Three in the last... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Three lost in fourteen. That's eleven games won or drawn. 9-1, 2 drawn, 3 loss. So that's a very good run of form we're on at the moment. If we can continue that until I see you next, we will be in with a great chance of securing promotion. But obviously, I'm not too worried about that. I probably will get back to you um, at the end of the January transfer window. So I'll see you for the Sheffield Wednesday Reading games. Um, just so basically I'll get all the transfer transfers done now in this, if we make any which um, isn't always uh, certain. But again, I did say that at the start of the summer window and we ended up signing. How many players we signed in the summer? Five. Five players we signed in the summer and I said I wasn't going to sign anyone. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode. If you have enjoyed, uh, give it a like, subscribe if you're new or if you haven't already. And I will see you in episode four. Thank you for watching.